understanding as we at the Odegaard School are making the best decisions possible for our students with the information we have at this time. The Good evening. I'm Paul Linseth, Dean of the John D. Odegaard School of Aerospace Sciences. Thank you for joining us this evening during this unprecedented time as the nation deals with the national emergency pertaining to the coronavirus. First, I want to thank all students, parents, and family members for your patience and understanding as we at the Odegaard School are making the best decisions possible for our students with the information we have at this time. The health and safety of our students, staff, and faculty is our paramount consideration. As we deal with the changes in flight training, I ask you to keep an open mind and be flexible. We will all work together to get through this situation. Be assured we will continually update you with changes as quickly as we can as we deal with this public health crisis. Again, thank you for your patience, and I now want to turn it over to key members of the Odegaard School leadership team. Thank you, Dean Linseth, and thank you students, parents, and family members for tuning in this evening for our UND Aerospace Update. I'm Elizabeth Buecke, Associate Dean of the College of Aerospace, and I'm joined by Brett Van Huysen, Chair of the Aviation Department, Shane Daku, Associate Chair, and Lewis Archer, Assistant Chair of Flight Academics. Also with me is Jeremy Raisler, our Chief Flight Instructor for Airplane, and Brian Willis, our Director of Aviation Safety. It was our hope to come to you this evening in a live format. However, with changes from the university requesting us to work remotely, we have decided to film this in advance using the many great questions that have come in through the FlyUND email account over the weekend. We know that many of you have questions, and unfortunately at this time we do not have all of the answers. But rest assured that we are working on contingency plans and having many discussions and meetings surrounding how we will move forward from this unprecedented event. To think that just two weeks ago we were all gathered in the Chester Fritz Auditorium for our Spring Safety Seminar to discuss important topics facing the aviation program. At that time, none of us could imagine uh, this turn of events. We know that all of you are concerned about what the future may hold. But if there is one element of certainty during this time, it is the fact that all of us at the University of North Dakota, faculty, staff, and administrators are here for our students and ensuring their success. Let me now turn it over to the Department of Aviation leadership team to answer your academic related questions. Good afternoon, my name is Brett Van Huysen, Chair and Professor in the Aviation Department. As you all know, we're working in a very fluid situation. We need to adapt, be patient, and work together as we plan for your continued education. As we move into our period of remote instruction, please monitor your email and other forms of communications for directions from the faculty teaching your classes. We're working hard to provide the tools and training that our faculty need to teach remotely. You may also need academic advising during this time. Please contact your academic advisor via email or Starfish if you need any assistance. The faculty will also be continuing to meet, remotely of course, to address a variety of academic issues and policies. Even though we are working remotely, we are going to still be working, and we will be doing our best to normalize our operations as much as we can. We will do our best to keep you informed, and we will do our best to keep the disruption to your education as little as possible. Hopefully we can return to normal instruction on April 6, but we will update you if that needs to change. I will now turn it over to Professor Lewis Archer, Assistant Chair of Flight Academics. My name is Lewis Archer, the Assistant Chair of Flight Academics. This morning, I'm happy to report the FA granted our request to deliver our Part 141 ground schools online that are currently in session. These courses are AVIT 102, 221, 222, 323, 324, 414, and 415. If you are currently enrolled in one of these courses, you should monitor Blackboard and your email for more information from your academic instructor regarding the specifics of how this instruction will be delivered to you. At this time, 
we intend to freeze the flight template to February 29th for the purposes of flight course registration, although this is subject to change. Flight course registration is still scheduled for April 6, although this also is subject to change. We are also considering our options for summer offerings to ensure that we are equipped with adequate resources to complete flight training for our currently enrolled students. We intend to have a more concrete plan once we are more confident of the outcome of this situation. Now I'll pass it off to Professor Shane Daku, our Associate Chair. Thank you, Lewis. There's a lot that we don't know today, and there's a lot that we do know that's subject to change. What we do know is that starting Monday, March 23rd, we will begin to deliver online instruction. This is a new method of delivery for a lot of our faculty. Please be patient as we work through the technical difficulties that will likely ensue. This week, we're working to provide education to our faculty so that they can deliver courses through Zoom, Blackboard, and Uja. Again, please be patient and understanding. We all understand what you're going through. Many of us experienced 9-11 personally and had our careers impacted as a result. We get it, we're with you. Hi, my name is Jeremy Reisler, Chief Flight Instructor for the Airplane Flight Training. Uh, right now, it's very important for everyone to realize that everyone's health and safety is our top priority. We are addressing flight training concerns on an as-needed basis and as we progress through this uh, very interesting time. Um, it is very important that we all exercise patience. There's a lot of answers out there that, that we do not know. One thing I can share is that last Friday we sent an email regarding students and CFIs that leave Grand Forks will be grounded until April 17th. It's very important for students to understand that the questions that are coming up regarding the various requirements for flight training will be addressed when the time comes. Right now we should not be focusing on those types of requirements. Right now it's all about everyone's health and safety. We will address those details soon. With all the information presented today and over the last seven days, anxiety and stress of our students, faculty, staff, and flight instructors are at an abnormally high level. Where you are today and where you are going seem to be weighing on everyone's mind. As mentioned several times, your health and safety is our top priority. Today it's not your flight safety, but your personal safety we're concerned about. It's hard to imagine how this stress is affecting you now, but this will be just a small blip on your aviation career. Please stay tuned and stay safe. Thank you for taking the time to view this update. As we look towards the future, we are planning to continue to bring you updates in a variety of formats. Please check your UND emails, subscribe to the UND blogs, and continue to send your questions to the flyund at aero.und.edu email account. This is being closely monitored by Dr. Kim Higgs. With classes going to remote delivery, we are also working with our industry partners to move their events to an online format as well. In the next few weeks, we already had scheduled visits from United Airlines and their Aviate team, Delta Airlines with their Propel team, and FedEx Express. We are working with these companies and hope to have more information out soon on how we can still connect for these messages. Our student leaders with the Student Aviation Management Association, SAMAR, are also in the process of setting up our first virtual SAMAR conference with their amazing speaker lineup, so stay tuned for information coming out from them as well. Lastly, we also plan to have more of these recorded sessions as events continue to unfold and give you an opportunity to hear from our aviation leadership team. We know the next few weeks are going to be very different than any of us have anticipated, and our first priority is for the health and safety of our students, faculty, and staff. Again, thank you for tuning in.